So let's start to create a donut chart in React Chart.js 2. To create our donut chart, all we need to do is we need to start putting or importing specific items from Chart.js. So we're going to say here import, and in this import we're going to put in curly braces, and then we're going to say chart as Chart.js, comma, and then we want to put in the element, and a pie chart and a donut chart uses the arc element. So we're going to say the arc element component, we want to have a tooltip, comma, and a legend. Once we did this, we're going to say it will come from the chart.js library. The chart.js library. There we are. So once we did this, we are uh, the next part. What we need to do is we need to register that item. So we're going to grab here the chart.js, and it already becomes here a bit, a bit faded, indicating that there's something wrong. So we're going to say your chart.js dot register, and then now it starts to react again. And in here, what I want to register is basically all of these items. So or all the components in here. Once we did that, semicolon. We can save that. Of course, nothing yet is done here because we need to put it in here. So we're going to say here, let's make it a div. Div open and div close. And then within this div, or before we even do that one, because I'm getting ahead of myself, I need to also import the React component. So there will be import the donut chart component and then we're going to say from string value react dash chart.js semicolon. Alright, so now we did that. Of course we get an error here because we have that one. Alright, this works here. Now you can see here just jump to black. Now let's start to work on this. So what I want to do here is the donut tag. And then in here, we're going to put in the object. And we need two specific objects. We need a data object equals data. And next, what we need to have is the options object equals options. All right, if I save this, we get an error again because we are not defining the data and the options. So what I want to do now is start to define them. I'm going to say here, oh, not here above, sorry, but just here below, before the return. And after the function app, we're going to say here constant data. So to define that data object, and in constant data, what do we have in here? We're going to say here we have the labels. And let's say here for the labels, which is an array value. And we can say here, uh, I guess, yes, comma, no, because it's a donut chart. So it's basically like that. We can have like two options. And then we have here next one is the data sets. And in the data set, an array as well, but we only have one single array or data set, so that doesn't matter so much. And we say your label. We can just say here, uh, the poll, for example, comma. And then we have here the data, and the data could be 3 and 6, comma. And we can have a background color. And we can put the background color, which could be an array. In this case, I'll just make it an array. I'm going to say here, black and uh, red I guess so once we did that border color and a border color we can just maybe just grab these as well doesn't matter so much so once we did this we can save this all right we get a, a another error of course because we don't have the options keyword so let's put in here the options so we're going to say constant options and then we can just leave this blank for now because we don't use this so we're going to say here, it will be just like that. If I save this, refresh, all right, and there we are. Now we have this nice pie chart. Let's reduce the size of it by getting in here. We're going to say style equals curly braces, and then here, not a curly braces, and then say here, the width. Width could be maybe 50%. Uh, and then we have a comma. We can say here, height uh, will be as well 50%. Save that. All right, there we are. And that's it.